What's going on YouTube? November 10th, 2022. Just had Hurricane Nicole come through. Down here in Central Florida. Figured I'd get out here and make a video for y'all. But uh, you guys know what time it is. Another time. Anyway guys. Got these uh, valve covers cleaned up. Got the valve cover bracket cleaned up. Or the uh, coil bracket rather. Looking good. I'm going to paint them with this uh, green engine paint, lime green. Um, haven't done much on the engine. It's kind of been chilling. <sighs> want to get these valve covers painted up and then uh, get some more parts ordered. But uh, yeah, let me paint these valve covers and I'll cut you back on. All right, YouTube. Got everything cleaned up. About to get uh, some painting done. I degreased them, scrubbed all the loose stuff off, uh, hit it with a wire wheel, hit it with some brake cleaner to get the uh, residual goo off, and now um, I'm hitting it with the map gas. I uh, just wanted to show you guys uh, this is how I paint, and uh, kind of like a little trick I learned. Um, you know, when you're going to paint stuff, you want it to be clean, uh, degreased, smooth, and dry. Painting is 99% prep. 1% is actual actual painting. <laughs> but uh, I want to show you what I'm doing with this map gas. Um, I'm going to hit this part with the torch, and you'll probably see some like water vapor start to disappear off the part. And I'm uh, going to try and just get it on camera. But uh, hopefully the camera picked that up, but uh, that's why I use the torch. Got to be dry. Um, but anyway guys, I'm about to crack this two-part can. Uh, it's got the button on the bottom. And uh, going to get painting. I'll cut you back on after first coat maybe, or it's painted. We'll see. I'm going to tape it off next. Alright YouTube. Did a little touch up here on these brackets came out alright definitely a vibrant green and uh, here's the parts that I painted looking pretty good of course no part is complete without the uh, mandatory bug that decides to fly into your paint when it's wet and the uh, dust that decides to get in there like right here Definitely felt like uh, saying some four letter words when that happened. But, pretty happy with it. What actually happened is I had a blanket trying to uh, keep the paint overspray off the wall. And uh, the damn blanket fell down right after I finished. And that's what that dust is from. Because they look, they look great now, they just look good. But, uh, pretty happy with it, I guess. Trying not to let my blood blood pressure get to the roof, but... Yeah, that annoys me a little bit. But hey, man, it's all good. It's part of working on cars, right? I'm sure anyone that's painted anything outdoors can tell you that's exactly what happens, right? But, uh, yeah, man. I'll let these dry overnight. And, uh throw them on the engine just see how they look but I think they look pretty good 
Let me know what you think. It's kind of the finished product there. With the uh, coil bracket on. I think it looks pretty good. You can see the cover there. All right. There we go. I gotta clean these up. They're disgusting, but you know, sit like that basically. I don't know if they're good or not. But yeah. Pretty happy with it. Got it mocked up. I think it's looking fantastic, especially in the sunlight. It's a crazy color. Touched up the engine block a little bit. good all right YouTube well of course I couldn't uh, couldn't help myself had to uh, kind of put it all together none of it's really bolted up and uh, not really ready to yet anyway but had to see what it was going to look like all together see I got the valve covers painted the uh, coil brackets painted <clears throat> block is painted compressor bracket <clears throat> front cover this is the truck bracket I'm not sure if I'll be able to get away with that one just yet but uh, you can see it's looking killer pretty excited to see this in a car I'm not sure what car it'll be yet but I was thinking uh, I really like the look of the Audi A5s I think uh, 700 horsepower would do pretty well in that it'd be pretty cool to get the Quattro system going and have uh, all-wheel drive with 700 horsepower um, I don't know if that's actually doable but uh, you know we can all we all got to start somewhere. <clears throat> um, still got to order a camshaft. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going turbo or supercharged. I was watching uh, Richard Holder and he had a older video about how he took a Cadillac supercharger and put it on a uh, LS motor. I guess there's guys that make adapters out there um, for these cathedral port heads and they got some CNC um, billeted parts that uh, basically adapt from the intake to the uh, compressor. So yeah guys, keep you updated and thanks for watching.